to our friends, the, the journalists who are coming from far away. <laughs> Just make sure that everyone has the opportunity. So we are pleased that we can uh, now start. Um, we, we are going to have a, a first a statement uh, from the ministry. Um, uh, and after that, uh, we will uh, have an elaboration of uh, that statement uh, from uh, the Vice Chancellor of the Investor of Zimbabwe, uh, Professor Lisa Inyakura. The statement from the Ministry uh, will be read by uh, our Permanent Secretary, uh, Professor Pujani. And after that, uh, we will uh, give. I am going to distract, but some of you were already strategic in the way you placed your gadgets. Um, I'm, I'm make sure that. Yes. So I'm going to ask uh, the permanent secretary. Uh, in our ministry to read our statement of the Robert. To this end, the academic trust of the Robert Gabriel Mugabe University will concentrate on critical STEM areas almost exclusively at graduate level to produce super specialists and super experts who will champion Zimbabwe's industrialization and modernization for sustainable socio-economic transformation and development. An important feature of the university will be the Robert Gabriel Mugabe Institute, which would focus on research, historical collection, library and study on transformative and revolutionary leadership, thinking and attributes that shaped the man, Robert Gabriel Mugabe, to evolve from humble beginnings into an iconic global leader, nationalist, pan-Africanist, revolutionary, educationist, strategist, and champion of the rights of the downtrodden, the world of. The establishment of the investor will be incubated by the investor of Zimbabwe through a process to be coordinated and overseen by its Vice Chancellor, Professor Levi Nyagura. Cabinet has approved a grant of 800 million towards the construction of the Robert Gabriel Mugabe University and a grant of 200 million towards the establishment of the university's endowment fund for research and innovation. The ministry is privileged and excited about Cabinet's decision to establish the Robert Gabriel Mugabe University. There can be no better recognition of President Mugabe's commitment to education and his exemplary leadership. As such, we are looking forward to working with the Robert Gabriel Mugabe Foundation and the University of Zimbabwe to establish the Robert Gabriel Mugabe University. I thank you. Okay, so thank you, uh, Permanent Secretary. We are now going to ask uh, uh, Professor Nagura, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Zimbabwe, to share with you the academic trust of Thank you, Honourable Minister. The motivation for the focus of the academic business of the Robert Mugabe University emanates from his commitment in promoting information and communication technology. So it has to reflect that kind of commitment and thinking uh, of you know, the president. And in particular, we are also looking at uh, the role of STEM in its contribution to industrialization and modernization. And so it's going, it is going to be a high-tech STEM center, you know, higher education institution in the country. And it's going to be the first, you know, genuine 
high-tech STEM focused you know, institution. We have uh, looked at what is happening worldwide in terms of uh, the role of universities in contributing to industrialization and modernization. And some of the observations we have met include uh, a number of development models which are going to guide the Arajim Kabe University. Uh, we understand the importance of culture and heritage as the context in which we operate. And so that becomes the beginning because if you throw away your context under which you are functioning, everything else, you know, fall to pieces. So the models that we have seen to be contributing uh, to, in, you know, industrialization, modernization, as uh, put across by institutions, would have, uh, you know, these kinds of elements. Uh, you have your context, which is culture and heritage, on which your research is being undertaken, and then innovation becomes a key thing, and that innovation would lead to the creation of enterprises. And so we think whatever you know takes place must take into account you know those kinds of elements in terms of uh, the focus in contributing to the development. Another possible development uh, model will be culture and heritage, uh, and then we have research innovation, and then of course we have uh, production of solutions, which will lead to the creation of new enterprises. Or we could have, depending on the trust of the research that is being undertaken, we could have the context which is culture and heritage, research, product development, product testing, product refinement, and creation of new enterprises. And that last development model characterizes what happens in the field of medicine. Uh, because you don't just produce something and then you know you go out and start uh, using it. It goes through those kinds of tests. The key clusters that uh, this institution is going to focus on uh, include uh, number one, Computer engineering means you must now look at uh, materials from a nanotechnology point of view. And so it's an area that uh, is so important, T thinking about the future and thinking about renewable energy. Uh, it's a very important area. And thinking about country, uh, what sort of future buildings do we require? You know, it is on actuarial and uh, relevant mathematical <coughs> sciences in order for us to look into the new demands of the 21st century. And the new demands are not just focusing on brick and mortar. We are now looking at uh, high-tech initiated, you know, structures. And that means the design has to be different from what is going on now. The mathematical, you know, contributions of various things, you know, like uh, physics, structural engineering, have got now to play a more critical role. And we think, you know, we need more research, you know, and more training in that, you know, area. And obviously, uh, that means um, looking at the lives of people, looking at uh, the planning, looking at um, the projections, uh, which have a bearing, for example, you know, in the service of the of NASA, you know, social security, you know, uh, uh, you know, in advance to cater for some. We are also going to focus on telecommunications and electronic engineering. This is extremely important, and that means uh, focusing on engineering, you know, in terms of new forms of energy and also think in terms of uh, new ways of producing products which demand less energy 
then we have to focus more and more on, you know, telecommunications, electronics, will be biomedical engineering. That, you know, is going to be very, very critical, and in particular focusing on drug, you know, manufacturing. If, uh, Red Biotechnology is focusing on the production of medical, you know, related things. In other words, uh, drugs where you are using organisms and living things to focus on, you know, aquatic systems go beyond. Action, you know, uh, from the bodies of water. We will also understand better the waterborne, you know, diseases, and hence, you know, be able to come up with uh, drugs to deal with such, you know, waterborne, you know, diseases, which we all know is made. And then, of course, uh, white, you know, biotechnology is optimizing use of uh, within the Zimbabwean environment has to be undertaken for us to benefit, you know, from all those you know, naturally exist of life, you know, of people. But more research within the Zimbabwean environment has to be undertaken for us to benefit, you know, from all those, you know, naturally existing <coughs> systems. And so that is the focus of the academic business, you know, in a nutshell. How are we going to go ahead with the incubation? Given very specific tasks to undertake with uh, identified uh, expected results they're supposed to contribute and feeding into the overall design and planning of you know the institution itself and so these you know eight working groups will cover all the critical areas that are necessary for running an institution we have a governance working group we have a curriculum you know design working group we have a budget, you know, or, or finance, you know, working group. We have uh, a research, you know, uh, working group. We obviously have, you know, communications and, you know, you, you know uh, public relations, you know, working group.